Dimension Bomb the central one. See where the ping is going. Going for this, uh, making a bomb. And get rid also of the second one. Exactly. Exactly like that. I guess this is also good because we do not want to give him target to bleed. And this is more than fine. He cannot bleed uh, the veiled units. So let me see. How can I help? Blood scent, so bleeding, vampire, stuff like that. I think I have a forced mulligan here. We have the Aralgord that uh, probably something that we want to mulligan too. And I guess uh, this hand is fine. I can also mulligan the Orb of Insight to get uh, the, the Orb with the Simlas if I need to. To create some more carryover. Which seems also reasonable. Because now we are on blue coin though. I mean, why not uh, getting that, that option and still trying to find some more gold like the Oniromancy. And moreover, we keep the orbs in here and we had also only one uh, brick that was the Rocking on Sentinel. Right now, we can start with the Elven Scribe. I would like to start with the Oniromancy, obviously, because I can create more carryover with the Sunset Wanderers. Yet, uh, I don't know. Maybe the Elven Scribe is the best, uh, the best card here to play. I can wait, maybe also play the Johnny, then the Sorceress of Dolblatanna. Try and contest the first round. Uh, I would prefer not to invest the Johnny. But if I need to, that's something I can definitely consider. I don't know if there is something... Some consideration to, to play not on the ranged row. I want to get rid of the Elven Scribe. Exactly, I was fearing about the natural selection. Now I can play the Johnny and then uh, get the tactical advantage there. I want also to play the Sorcerer's of the Blatana, but I want uh, another tick from the Sunset Wanderers. Maybe it's just uh, Johnny. I don't know. One of the natural selections is already here. I fear maybe the Striga can do the four damages automatically. So here there is a. There are actually I think two main uh, possibilities: the Johnny or the Sorceress. Johnny could be also very fine in the last round for the damage things against all the engines that he can put down. But I think I will just play the Johnny. Risk the predatory dive, which I think I should not play. And, and from there we will we will play the Sorceress of Doblatan and so on. Okay, so we have uh, the Endrigal Larve. I can, get, I can get rid of one only. So I think I will just play this one. For now. So that uh, after this I can get rid of the Larve maybe in a better way. Remember, this is a gold 6 provision, but this is a bronze 6 provision, so the commitment is pretty much the same from now. This is a 4 provision, this is a 4 provision. The exchange is at his favor because he is on red coin, but yet uh, we are in a decent position for now. Seems like a, a devotion list uh, of vampire, like with the Indrega Larve. And with also the, the leader uh, 
that um, uh, the wild hunt stuff uh, transforming card that will play another one so that he can proc uh, the thrive double uh, two times so now we went for the random pings on the Kikimor warrior from the johnny can just diminish and bomb one of these uh, two I can go so the Merition Bomb the central one. See where the ping is going. Going for this uh, making a bomb and get rid also of the second one. Exactly. Exactly like that. We're still on the lead, we can create some carryover with the Simblas, we can push with the Sunset Wanderers. What to get out of the round as soon as possible. So playing uh, the Sorceress of Dolblathana right now. Then we can play also the Oneiromancy and we can pass. This is fine. He committed pretty much anything. We committed two, five uh, provision cards. The Johnny and the Entrega Larva has the same uh, ceiling, let's say. So we can prepare for a Whisperer uh, uh, combo here. We have also the Necromancy, so we can also play the Whisperer immediately. I think in this position I will definitely mulligan away the Elven Scribe. Or I can keep it uh, to... But this is not very good, to be honest. I will try for something else, not the Orb of Insight, because I want them through the Simlas. Okay, this is very unfortunate. Uh, this is very, very unfortunate. Let's see here what we can get. Uh, get a second Elven Seer or an Elven Scribe with the Isengrin Council. We have also the Royal Decree. A lot of, we have a lot of tutors. We have the Nature's Rebuke. We don't care about the Orbs of Insight right now. So we just play the Elven Seer. And we wait. Uh, the Oneiromancy. Beyond the Korathi Heat Wave. So we just play the Elven Seer right now. And if uh, he plays another uh, natural selection immediately, then we play the Whisperer of Dolblathan. It's probable that he has some control. It's also possible that we play the Orb of Insights immediately. We have still the Necromancy to play the Sorcerer of Dolblathan, which is not bad by any mean. We can also double up on the Orb of Insight. Exactly. So he has no other option to get rid of it in an optimal way. If we whisper her, then we should uh, uh, full leader. Because this will go on the right. And we risk on drawing... Uh, one Broccoli on Sentinel, or maybe the Nature's Rebuke, which is our main target for Simlas. And definitely try to do this, uh, this move. He has also the Parasite, okay. We can still go for Necromancy now, but we can also wait. This is a very control heavy for now. He wants some combo. He probably have uh, also all the vampires. Uh, 
Hmm. This is not a very good situation. So if I play the uh, on a romance now, I can get some carryover with the Arvin Seer. I mean, why not? We risk on drawing a lot of bad cards, like this one, but uh, I feel like this is uh, this can be good to force uh, the round. We play the Orb of Insight, we pass. And then we still have the Heat Wave, we still have Full Leader, we still have a couple of uh, good things. We can also answer the, um, uh, the Defender with the Heat Wave. We have the backer, uh, the, the backer mirror. So we can just do like this. Do like this. Get our carry over and we just pass here on this spot. I could have also used double barb of insights into the Elven Seer, to be honest. And here we here we pass for sure. If he has Orianna, we can answer the Orianna with uh, the Becker's Dark Mirror. You have the Heat Wave. We forced out also the Oberon, which is uh, maybe too good, so it means he has a very good hand. <clears throat> and now we don't want to break the Seamless and we don't want to break uh, the Leader. Right now we are breaking the Seamless. We always do like this. And the real question here is... Uh, do we just mulligan the Seamless? Seems like we cannot mulligan pretty much anything. The problem is that we do not have the Gord. Yes, we have the Gord with the Royal Decree. We have an Aeromancy to get the Heat Wave through the Defender. I guess we are doing fine with this. We cannot pretty much do anything more. We have two and three on here. We have the orbs of insights that are coming down. We would like to play the necromancy, but not immediately. We need one more proc here, but we need also something to put uh, on uh, the board. If we play a special, then we are forced to play the Necromancy, so we want to leader first. We like want to, if we play the Nature's Rebuke, then we need to leader to get a couple of more units. To get the Orb of Insights and get the full combo. Okay, so... Hmm. I guess that's it. We play an interactive for now. I don't know, even losing uh, the orbs of insights can be good. Who knows? The problem is if uh, exactly if he plays the defender now, then we are losing a lot of value. Because we must go on Aeromancy into Heat Wave, and then we are losing the value from uh, the Whisperer. I 
We can also go Whisper and that's it. It's not that bad. I guess this is also good because we do not want to give him target to bleed. And this is more than fine, he cannot bleed uh, the Veiled units. Oh. Right now the... Um, the Necromancy spawn a Veiled uh, Whisperer, I thought that the Veil... The a Doomed Whisperer, I thought it uh, would protect from the Veil, from the Doomed. I mean the Whisperer just get played by the Necromancy. And Necromancy would give the Doomed tag, but the Whisperer is Veiled, so nothing happens. Okay, here we do not care because you see. So now we just go for uh, other Whisperers. Like this. We play the Korathi Heatwave. We just remove this. I don't know if I need to remove this one. I mean, I don't, uh, I don't need to. At least not now. You don't care about removing it. There are no units that uh, he can actually mess up with. So we can play with the Natchez Rebuke. Don't give him uh, any bleed. Okay. Mm, your blood smells sweet. Okay, I guess even even like this, uh, this unit is just uh, she will die for sure. That's simply simply it. She will die, she will die, and that's it. So I can just do again like this and wait. There's nothing I can do about this whisperer. He has another Unseen Elder, probably the Orianna, which is completely useless. Detlef. Uh, no which is again pretty useless, also because he cannot uh, get the Death Blow here. Even though the Seamless uh, will give him uh, some value. I still have the Harald. Mm, I mean, do I care about something specific? I can go for the Seamless uh, right now. On the Death Laugh. Just because I don't know what to do. Remember to whom you speak. Splendid crops this year. I can also wait. Leave it to me. Do not really care about those points. He has another unseen elder. If I want to, I can also remove my own stuff with my precision strike. So we have more room now, uh, this seems like uh, useless again. It's like a minus 4 points plus 3, little useless too. I don't know, I still have uh, some way of uh, hitting uh, stuff here. So we do like this. One. Get some more points there. And they have the final gourd. I don't even think that he can do the points. Right now. It's the Mamuna. We shall 
conquered this world as we have conquered countless others. You should use the leader just to get the exactly that one. And now that's it, I think. Just get one, get two, get the Brocolon Sentinel, get the Gord. Easy game, but nice dynamic though. The Whisperer really carried this one.